What's up guys? Welcome back to Danny TV and thanks for coming back to watch another episode. If you are new on the channel, hit that subscribe button for more awesome builds. Today we are at the Copar location west of ATL. We got a new build for the channel. It is a Smash G35, but we should be able to use it. Let's get inside, pay for it, and take it home with us. All right guys, so we made it back with the G35. It was just a quick trip to Atlanta and back. We're just gonna leave the car on the trailer and check it out from here. We're not gonna get around to it in this episode, but pretty much the reason we bought this car is for the transmission and the Brembo brakes. We're gonna try to get those on the RX-7. I think it's only right for the RX-7 to have the manual transmission. That's gonna be really awesome. And we got a good door. It's also smacked right here in the rear check out that frame rail I'm sure VTune can fix this in like a day or so but good thing we're not gonna be fixing this car but I am gonna be looking for a G35 on the channel since we do have a good quarter panel and door I just have to find the right spec let's go ahead and check out under the hood once we get around to it we're just gonna take all this apart and try to start the motor once we get it on the lift and stuff but for now let's get back in the garage and finish up the jet ski repair here it is boys this is the primary damage and the reason this 2019 kawasaki jet ski got totaled out it's not even that bad to be honest with you it doesn't go past this little trim piece right here everything else on the whole is reinforced i've already put about six hours on the ski just as it sits and even had it rolled over and everything still stays nice and dry inside the hole so that's always a good sign not really sure on how the insurance adjuster quoted this repair out but this is probably going to take like three to four hours we're just going to blend like the nose in stay tuned and let's get to work
Check this out guys, we're moving right along on this repair. We started making a little groove running all along the crack and it's nice and flush up here at the top. It only goes through in certain areas so we'll just use a mat and some resin on that back side. The crack does not go all the way through in this area and it's nice and sturdy. But before we keep moving along, we're gonna go ahead and get this mirror off and then also take this trim off. All you have is these little clips right here to get to the three rivets in the front and then you just have two Allen bolts on the side. So let's go ahead and get all this off and keep moving right along. All right, boys, so we got the work area all prepped and ready to go. We've got plenty of matte samples right over here. I am using the fiberglass resin from 3M. You can use whatever brand you want. For now, let's go to mix them up. All right guys, so check this out. The primer laid down really nice and smooth. Everything is looking awesome. There is one little imperfection right over here. We'll just use some finished putty once they're ready for it. For now, let's go ahead and jump on the wet sanding and get this sucker painted today. All right guys, so we just wrapped it up with the wet sanding and we are looking good. The ski is all taped off and ready to go. I did also have to take the front storage lid off just so that I could kind of blend in this area right over here. And later on, we'll go back and buff everything out. 
We're not gonna be using any gel coat on this one. I just went to O'Reilly's and got some of this single stage paint mixed up. We did use a computer to scan it, so it should be a pretty close match. And on top of that, it's gonna be a little bit more tougher and resistant for like scratches and stuff. It's what we used on the trailer. Let's go ahead and mix them up and get to painting, boys. Check this out guys, we got the jet ski all back together. I was in a little rush in that previous clip because I did want to get the jet ski painted and on the lake that same day, which we did and had a blast. But check out this finish, it turned out amazing. The color is spot on. We don't have any hard lines. We did a really good job blending this area in. Same thing right over here. There is a little line right here, but I'll just end up buying a smaller buffer and polishing that out. But yeah, overall turned out sick. We pretty much got like a new setup. We're also testing out the cooler setup. We're just using some straps for now, but I will be buying a rack that bolts on down here and so we can mount that on for good. For now, let's take the ski out and do some fishing. All right, boys, so we made it out here to the dam. We're gonna do some fishing. Oh, this water is moving though. It's so beautiful out here today. We're just gonna watch the sunset. Got the cooler mounted. Heck yeah. Any bites? Not yet. I think he might have one. Oh yeah. Water is nice and. Right oh. I wonder if the GoPro will pick that up. Water is nice and calm. Can't really see it. Time we'll bring two poles out. Try that way. Bubba's, Bubba's doing all the fishing now. There it goes, look at that. Woo! Look how slow that train is moving. Yo, I think you should try to cast this way. I, think I see. So? Let me try to cast. Yeah, I just seen a few pop over here. Is the water gonna rise? Come on, Striper. Where are you at, buddy? We need some dinner tonight. Man, it is so beautiful out here. I think the water is moving too fast over there for the fish to no. be in that area. Why do you think everybody's throwing over there, bud? Ooh. Let's see that cast. Come on, baby. Tell him a little bit about the pole. Honestly, I don't really know much about it. I just went to Bass Pro Shop, caught me a nice little reel and a rod, and I, I just mean, went out here. That thing looks pretty nice. The reel is a little bit too big, but I think we'll work with it. What kind of line are you using? 30 pound braid. Woo, 30 pounds. Yes, sir. Let's go, brother. I wonder if that bridge crashed, if all those containers right there would will, uh, float. Do you think they'll float? Oh yeah, for sure. I wonder what's in them. What if it's like a bunch of exotic cars or something? That is awesome. 
freedom, baby. How long are you trying to stay out of here? To like sunset. We don't have any navigation lights, so uh, jet skis are required, I think, to leave. So I think we're good for another hour or so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all about... <clears throat> It's all about having patience out here, but I'm having a good time. I'm about to rig up. Keep cat. I think those boys over there lost a couple too. They just keep getting snagged right in this area. I wonder how deep it is in here. I do need to get a fish finder on the ski. That's something else that I'm gonna add just to kind of see where the fish are at and see how deep the water is and whatnot one ounce jig head and just a, a small little fluke oh, uh, is that mostly for like bass and whatnot striped bass uh, pretty much anything catfish will go for it there's been no action no action guys no action whatsoever. but it's beautiful out here you think it's shallow over here <clears throat> We're just gonna stay out here for another 10 15 minutes, call it a day. Hopefully, we catch something. If not, we'll catch you guys with some action at home.
two thumbs up this video. For now, let's get back to the dock. That's pretty much gonna do it for this episode. The jet ski repair turned out amazing and I'm super excited that it's back to OEM. We got the unit completely registered and we are good to go. With this said, oh snap, shopdannytv.com if you wanna support your boys and copy some merch. The link is in the description. Also for a sneak peek before YouTube, follow me on Instagram at dannytv.com. Link is also in the description. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm out. I'll catch you on the next one.